The disability employment gap is the difference between the employment rate of disabled people and the employment rate of non-disabled people. So we just look at the working age population in the UK, this is the figures for 2019, we see that 80% of non-disabled people were in work and yet only half, 50% of disabled people were in work. This is a really huge gap and it is much bigger than other employment gaps that we might care about. For example, the difference between men and women or the difference between white people and people of other ethnic groups. Why does this matter? Well, the first thing to say is that employment isn't appropriate for everybody. Uh, there are some disabled people who are unable to work and it's important that such people are financially supported. However, we do know that many disabled people can work and want to work and therefore the fact that half of disabled people are not in work should be a cause for concern. Many disabled people are living in poverty sadly uh, and so work can be a really good way of helping people, people to escape from poverty and to become financially independent. But not only that, work uh, is a way that people can find purpose and dignity in life, it can expand their social networks, it can improve our skills and it's really good for our health and well-being. Uh, and also, uh, improving the employment rate of disabled people is a key priority for the government at the moment. It's too simple to say that there's just a single disability employment gap because not all disabled people are the same, not all disabled people face the same barriers to work. So for example, we know that disabled people with a more severe impairment or those with a mental health condition or a learning disability have much lower employment rates than disabled people with a physical health condition. We also know that the disability employment gap is wider among people over the age of 50 and among people with low levels of education. And the disability employment gap varies considerably depending whereabouts in the UK you go. Well, there are four of us on the research team here at the Department of Economics. Our research is being funded by the Nuffield Foundation and we're also working with partners from across government and the voluntary sector. And what our research is all about is we're trying to unpack the disability employment gap. That is, we're trying to identify the factors that are explaining why the employment of disabled people is so low. So, for example, is this something to do with people's characteristics, uh, for example, their education or their skills? Is this to do with where people live and the kind of jobs that are available in their area? And can we identify whether there's actually any discrimination against disabled people still going on in the workplace? So as we go along with this research, we're going to share our findings. Uh, so uh, please do watch this space. And if you'd like to know any, anything else, please do contact one of the um, research team or have a look at our website.